Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Boxing Bookie. It is good to be back. It is good to be back. We're going to get into uh, a pretty good fight tonight. Tyler Denny, Felix Cash uh, for the European middleweight title, I, I think. Follow three, Boxing Three, Boxing Blogger, all form of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. Show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The odds makers, the bookies, they don't know what they're doing. I do. Join the Patreon below. Five dollars a month gets you the lock of the lock of the week. Get you all the perks. Uh, ask the bookie anything. Uh, it gets you specific props that I aren't released. Like there'll be a prop on this that that I release close to the fight that's not, that DraftKings doesn't have out yet. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Also, join join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Five dollars a month get you all the perks. Also, I'm losing my brain. Uh, Subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, let's get into today's show. Um, this is an interesting fight. Tyler uh, Denny is 18-2-3. Uh, I thought he'd be a favorite in this fight. He's actually a slight underdog, uh, but that, that's, that's been swinging. Southpaw moves well. Uh, no power at all. He's 32. He's uh, 18, 2, and 3. He just got his first knockout in his last fight against 45-year-old Matteo Signani in a fight that Signani uh, quit due to a cut. So it wasn't really even a legitimate knockout. So he's a guy who's had 23 professional fights, which he's won 18 of them. He's only lost two, and he has zero knockouts. So it kind of tells you what kind of guy he is. Good speed, good counter puncher, picks his counter shots well, back foot guy, Pretty decent head movement. Gets hit more than you'd expect, though. Like, he's not a guy that's super hard to hit, even though he's got decent movement. He's a jabber. He's got pretty quick reflexes. Not a lot of combination. He reels off a lot of one punches, at, one punch at a time, one punch at a time, one punch at a time. He's got, like, nice little quick body shots, though. Like, quick counter body shots. He does that pretty well. He doesn't sit down on the shots at all. He's not looking to hurt you. He's looking to score points. He's looking to outlast you. He's looking to win round. Uh, he gets, like I said, he gets hit more than you like. He's not a great fighter. He's a decent fighter. You know, I look at him as a guy who could be used as a stepping stone for young prospects in the middleweight division who, who, who are looking to crack their teeth. He's, he's a name. He's like he's got some decent win. Tyler Denny is not a terrible fighter. Like I said, he's got his win over Signorini. Uh, Mikulki McGowan, Brad Polis, Bradley Ray, like R River Wilson Bent, he's got a win and a draw with. Uh, he lost a close decision to Linus Eudofia. So he, he, he Reese Cartwright, I believe, too, right? Uh, he lost, he got stopped by Reese Cartwright. Um, like he's been in, he, he's been tested. He, he's not a terrible fighter. Uh, he just, you know, there's no power, there's no commitment to his shots, there's not a lot of combinations. He, he's. A lot of times it looks like he's looking to survive even when he, he is winning rounds because, like I said, he's he's not he's, – he's a pretty skilled guy. He's got good jab, decent movement, decent athleticism, pretty quick reflexes, good counter puncher. There's certain things that he can do well. He's got good feet and angles. He changes levels well. He's just not a puncher. And he doesn't look to hurt you and he doesn't look to commit to his shots. It's kind of what he is. And he's not ultra hard to find. He's not ultra hard to hit. He, a lot of times he'll lunge with his face. He's got some flaws defensively, even though like he is a defensive fighter. He's not a, a great defensive fighter. Just does his shots, lunges in, doesn't look to hurt you. I guess he's got one knockout due to cuts, where the doctor said he could fight, but the corner said he couldn't fight due to a cut. It's just interesting. Um, feel this cash. 16-0, 10 knockouts. He's more of a power boxer. Long, rangy, 6'1", 6'2", good range, good reach on his jab. Tall, rangy, front foot guy. Good counter left hook. That's his best shot, I think, is his counter left hook. But his right hand is good, too. His right hand, he scores, and he scores with accuracy. He's not a big puncher, but he commits to his shots. He sits down on his shots. So he kind of maximizes whatever power that he had. He's a bit slower, but he throws in combinations. He's, he's, he's going to win rounds, I think, on volume. And I think this fight goes the distance. His head's kind of on the line, so he's not difficult to hit either. Neither one of these guys are really difficult to hit. Neither one of them have great power, so it's kind of like the guy that throws more, the guy that throws straighter shots, more eye-catching shots, probably going to win these rounds. And to me, that's Felix Cash. He's a little wild, but he's 
persistently coming forward, throwing punches. He gets a little sloppy, and you can hit him, and you can time him. His head movement is, is non-existent. He's not difficult to hit, especially in exchanges or even from a long range. Good combination puncher, though. You know, that he, he commits to his punches. He comes forward. He uses his jab well. He uses his jab well. He controls the distance, controls range with it. He sets up the right hand. The right hand's fairly accurate. Like I said, it's not a ton of pop on it, but this, you know, he's not feather fisted either. You know, whereas Tyler Denny's probably a bit feather fisted. Uh, uses uses his reach well, his feet well. Doesn't have one shot power, but he, he maximizes what he has. He's defensively floored. He's going to get hit. I think he's going to carry most of these rounds. Uh, so let's take a look at the odds. Let's see how we're going to make money on this. The odds on this, I think, are, are quite interesting. Uh, we don't have the over-under. We don't have the fight to go the distance, which I like. Uh, what the, the bet I really like on this is the over-under. 12-round fight over-under is going to be probably 10 and a half. A great bet to add to your parlay is the over on this. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also in the banner below. Join the Patreon. Just follow us a month. We're going to find out which prop is the bet. We're going to have a couple options. We can take Felix Cash um, by decision. We can take the over. We can take, does the fight go the distance, right? We can we can bet that. Let's look at the odds when that comes out, and we'll make the smartest bet when that comes out. But what we have here now is just the money line. I like Felix Cash on the money line. The odds are decent. A hundred dollar bet is going to make you sixty two fifty. He's minus one sixty. I think those odds are reasonable. I think you know Cash should be a favorite. Although I thought Denny was Cash has been inactive. He hasn't fought a lot recently. Um, but Cash is the better fighter. Who I said should win rounds. Cash. Wait, wait. If this thing is, if this thing is close and competitive, I, I think the volume, the combination punching, the more eye catching shots are going to be landed by Cash. So for me, I think the, the best bet here of what we have on the money line, Felix Cash on the money line, minus 160. It's a bet I like. Also, when the props do drop, which will be, probably be Thursday or something like that, we get a little close to the fight. Come back. I'll show you how to make money on the props as well. Join the Patreon files a month. It'll all be in that. Uh, it's also probably something we could add to our, our, our lock, our parlay. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, or all forms of social media. Uh, the Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. Show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The odds make is the bookies. They don't know what they're doing. I do. Um, I'm going to show you how to bring down the house. It is June 17th, 2024, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.